Uh, you look at someone like Peter Tucker, obviously, defensively, um, plays with so much energy, leaves that he can get from point A to point B, and he believes that no one can beat him, and he's tough. All right, it's October 26, 2022, Raptors, Sixers. Always a beefy game between these two teams, and Pascal Siakam is going to come out on a mission to physically, mentally, spiritually abuse P.J. Tucker in a way that I haven't really seen before. I mean, left P.J. just struggling to play basketball. We got uh, Doc Rivers in this one. He had a fun summer. And assistant coach, he always looks like he's about to get punched. We got Siakam, you know, getting his hands warm here. He's locking in. He's taking his clothes off. And we've got uh, not only P.J. Tucker in this one, but also bubble legend Daniel House and, of course, James Harden forming this trio of Maury Rockets 2.0. And uh, Scotty and Boucher having some good, clean fun before the game here, which, I don't know, makes OG kind of jealous. And uh, Scotty notices this, immediately goes over to his guy to reassure him. And uh, starts what looks to be an immortal meme, but uh, instead TSN changes cameras to a stationary Nick nursing in a chair. So we got Nick in this one, Earl's in this one. But anyways, Pascal Siakam. So surprising amount of these are going to be threes. So Gary's over to Fred. Fred tosses it over to Siakam. PJ Tucker's not even putting his hands up on these shots. He's just admiring the view. Pascal playing point forward, just pulls right up. That's you? Showing him uh, no respect, really. Here he goes under the screen. Siakam's just like, all right, you know, slow-ass closeout. Siakam hits the three. And he's letting him know, you know, He's letting him know. Foul hog. And uh, so Precious going to operate on Harold. No, he's not. He's going to throw it over to Pascal Siakam. Coloco sets the screen. Siakam's like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do this one where uh, he's going to go under the screen and leave me open. And then I'm just going to uh, yeah, get a little bit of room here. You can't stop me. I'm peace skilled. And uh, he's Precious driving in. Throws it over Siakam. Again, PJ Tucker's hands aren't even up, really. And Siakam, I mean, credit to him. He's... Releasing it really quickly. The bench loves it. Lana loves it. Flynn loves it. Siakam gives him the Steve Nash eyes. Siakam appears to be doing some kind of hypnosis here. I couldn't really read the lips. Uh, all the other lip reads were 100% accurate, of course, but the ref's kind of just dribbling the ball here. He's kind of having fun with it. And all of this kind of left P.J. Tucker strangely unable to play basketball, really. Here, He just fumbles a pass in the corner where he kind of lives, so you hope he'd get that pass. <laughs> and um, here's uh, Harden's going to throw it over to Tucker, who... Uh, Misses the three, rims out, and then uh, can't catch up to Scotty Barnes in transition. And uh, P.J. Tucker in the corner. I think that was a double dribble, but, you know, nobody saw it. Uh, misses that one. And uh, James Harden operating a little bit. P.J. Tucker just gets fucking locked by Ken Burge. And, uh, and he's just shook now. I mean, he's missing a layup here. He's missing the, the putt back. He's just flopping and flailing around trying to get a bucket. Tucker, I Doc just has him out there guarding Siakam on an island. We, we might have to make a switch there or, or make an adjustment. Respect to Earl for saying hi to me at training camp in Victoria. Um, despite being on his phone, you know, I was eating a sandwich. He was talking on his phone, but I still managed to ask him about David Johnson's jump shot. Full documentary incoming soon. Is that David Johnson? 